Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Ismar Sina I'm from English Education Department Class 3C Here I will explain about adjective and adverb Unit 90 until 95 Adjective ending in ing and ed There are many pairs of adjective ending in ing and ed For example, boring and bored Study this example situation Jen has been doing the same job for a very long time. Every day, she does exactly the same thing over and over. She doesn't enjoy it anymore and would like to do something different. Someone is eating if something or someone is in, or if something is in, it makes you eating. So, Jen is bored because her job is boring. Jen's job is boring, so Jen is bored, but Jen is boring. Next example, someone is interested because something or someone is interesting. Tom is interested in politics, not interesting in politics. Are you interested in buying car? Did you meet? Anyone interesting at the party? Adjective work order a nice new host after verbs. Do you feel tired? Sometimes we use two or more adjectives together. Tom lives in a nice new house. In the kitchen, there was a beautiful, large, round wooden table. Adjective like new, large, round, wooden are flat adjective. They give us objective information about something, age, size, color, etc. Adjective like nice or beautiful are opinion adjective. They tell us what something, someone thinks of something. Opinion adjective usually go before flat adjective uh, B sometimes there are two or more flat adjective example a tell young man big blue eyes and etc we also use adjective after some verb especially be get become are you tired? Be careful. I'm getting hungry. We also adjective after feel, smell, taste, sound, seem, look. Do you feel tired? That dinner smells good. And etc. Adjective and adverb quick and quickly. Both mean fast and are used to talk about speed. Quick is an adjective, quickly is an adverb. Example, it is a quick train, he runs very quickly. Adjective and adverb good, well, fast, hard, late, or hardly. Good or well. Good is an adjective and the adverb is well. Example, your English is very good. You speak English well. Fast, hard, late. These words are both adjective and adverb. Example adjective Jack is a very fast runner. Example adverb Jack can run very fast. Hardly has a completely different meaning from hard. Hardly almost not study this example. George asked Carol to marry him. She was surprised because they had only known each other for two days. She said, we can get married now. We hardly know each other. We know each other very little. We almost don't know each other. Why was Tom so unfriendly at the party last night? 
he hardly spoke to me. He spoke to me very little. We often use hardly with can or called. Your writing is terrible. I can hardly read it. I can read it but only with a lot of difficulty. I, my leg was hurting me. I could hardly walk. We also use hardly with any or anyone or anything or anywhere. How much money do you have? Hardly any, almost none, very little. So and such. Example, I didn't enjoy the book. The story was so stupid. We use so with an adjective without a noun, so stupid. I didn't enjoy the book. It was such a stupid story. We use so with an adjective with a noun, such a stupid story. So and such make the meaning of the adjective stronger. Example, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's so warm, really warm. We enjoy our vacation. We had such a good time. A really good sentence. In this sentence, we use so and such in a different way. I expect the weather to be much color I didn't expect it to be so warm as warm as it is the last now and to the position of now a now goes after adjective and adverb he didn't get the job because he wasn't experienced enough not enough experience now goes before nouns. I he didn't get the job because he didn't have enough experience. Not an experience enough. You can also use a noun alone without a noun. I lend you some money if you don't have a noun. After a note and to you can say for someone or something. I don't have enough money for a vacation. We say the food was so hot that we called it, it. and the food was very hot. We called it it, it. or we say um, the food was too hot to eat without it. I think that's all about my explanation. I'm so sorry if I say mistake. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.